Anglers, welcome back. I'm your host, Kurt Smits. Thought we'd go over my Hobie Pro Angler 360, 14 foot in the Amazon green. This is one of the best fishing kayaks out there on the market. Pairing that up with the Torquedo 1103 to help propel me where I need to go fast in a, a package that's basically plug and play for the Torquedo. It just pairs up extremely well with the 360 degree drive from Hobie. Using the Torquedo to get to where I need to go and then bust out the 360 degree drive to stay on spot, locked on fish, silently, quieter than any trolling motor could possibly ever be. So let's start up with the front of the kayak and then we'll move our way back and you know I'll show you all the different features on it. So starting at the front of the boat here, obviously you got a great big pole handle. I have a, a strap on here just for pulling the kayak around when I need to on and off the my trailer or up and on the ramp and whatnot. Of course, you know, I got my Yak Attack net set up with some nice other Yak Attack products, the Roto Grip right here. The lock and load mounts for my camera mounts when I'm uh, filming or anything else I want to put on there. You can put your fish finder up there. It's, it's, these things are like Legos. You can build your mounting system any way you want. It makes rigging your kayak super easy. And let's take a look inside here. So the PA-14 has a ton of storage. You got this giant bucket that you can put all types of stuff in. And it gives you a chance to take basically any all the lures you want and anything else you want. Right now I just have some lures in here. I also usually have my rain gear in here as well. Um, and behind the bucket here, I have my black boxes for my pan optics and a fuse board for all my electronics and lights and everything. It's really important with your modern kayaks that have lights and stuff on them to actually have them be fused because we have a lot of different electronics going on with them and speaking of a lot of different electronics what do we have there miller tech 12 volt 45 amp hour battery the thing about the miller tech is you can come right on here hit that little button and actually see exactly how much power you have this is a super accurate reading on your power and your battery these things charge super fast they're super durable they use grade A cells, can't recommend Miller Tech batteries enough, and they're reasonably priced from a company here in Ohio. What I do is I house my battery in this hatch underneath my seat, and what that allows me to do is have the weight of the battery centered right in the center of the kayak from, back, from front to back and also from left to right. And you may not think that's important, but with these kayaks, you got to realize that we put so much stuff on these fishing kayaks that it can easily become out of balance. So keeping your balance is important. Some people may not agree with it, but you know, I never used these rod tube holders that were here. So what I did was, is I made a board that has uh, switches for my lights on there and my fish finder and everything else. I run uh, navigation lights on the sides. And underneath here, I run red, uh, some blue lights as well to light up my deck. So I got a couple different switches for everything. One for my Garmin, one for each pan optics, one for each light. So I, got, I can control all that right here. And like I said, I never use the rod holders there anyway. I always end up laying them on top and I don't even like laying them on top. Here's the port for your 360 drive right here. Grab your 360 drive, drop it in, and you're good to go. And you're off to the races. And you control the 360 drive. There's two handles here. This is for the rudder, and this is for the drive itself. And this will turn the drive left to right. And this will do your rudder for you. And you also have a rudder control over here. And I'm going get to get to why this one's a little different, because this also controls a Torquedo in the back. So my fish finder here is a Garmin 106 SV uh, UHD. It's become, I don't want to say a standard for kayak fishermen, but Garmin seems to become, have become super popular among kayak fishermen. I think it's, you get the best bang for your buck right now from these guys. I've always kind of struggled with the different mounting solutions for them. 
and finally ended up with the Yak Attack, and this thing is rock solid, man. And here's the best bet. I can pop it off super easy, pop it on, lock it down, and it won't go any place now. Super solid, and with us using bigger and bigger fish finders, going to the 10-inch screens, a lot of times what happens is they go from a plastic touch screen to a glass one, and that adds a lot of weight. What that means is a lot of other ways to put your fish finders on aren't adequate for these bigger ones. That might be for like a seven inch screen, a five inch screen. And also if you get some of these guys from like MG Marine Tech, when these guys, these uh, sun shields, this is actually aluminum. So that adds a little bit more weight and the brackets aluminum versus plastic on the smaller ones. So this is all adds more weight. And again, you know, Yak Attack is another one of the leading rigging companies in the industry. Quick, we got the load, lock and load right here. And this is, I use this for everything and so do they, they use it for everything. And you have the Hobie H-Rail mounts from Yak Attack and these are the most rock solid, look at that. I am moving the rail by pushing on that. And we've been looking for that ever since, for years now, they've been looking for a good way to get Yak Attack products locked onto the A-Trail. And now we have it from Yak Attack right there. And this is part of the dual pan optics mount I've been talking about. So I got the 34 L LSV 34 and then a 32. The 34 is in perspective mode. The 32 is in down mode so I can see deep and shallow just by hitting one of the buttons on my fish finder. Let's talk about the Hobie Pro Angler Chair. This is probably one of the most adjustable, comfortable kayak fishing seats on the market. You can raise and lower the back, you can raise and lower your legs, and it has a lumbar support that you can adjust as well to dial in exactly how you want it to fit. Add a kayak cushion to it and you got the most comfortable seat on the kayak market that's out there. It also has a high and a low position you can put it in. This is currently in the high position. I always leave it in the high position. This is where I like it the best. This almost every tournament I have eight rods back there. Do I use eight rods? No, I always end up using two, but I have them if I need them. And for tournament fishermen, it's really important to be able to get at your measuring board easily. And there's been a lack of a quick release on the market. So I made my own out of Kydex. I can just take this out real quick. I have a tether on a Hobie retractable, so it keeps the leash out of the way when I'm snot in use. And it's super easy to put back in, one-handed, and take out. So for me, it keeps me organized to have it this way. As you can see right there, behind the seat, is where I keep two Torquedo batteries so I can have all the range that I could possibly want. I've almost never ever actually get into the second battery. The Torquedo is so efficient. One battery seems to be enough. Every once in a while I have to get back to the ramp on the last battery because I've been a little too heavy on the throttle, but with two batteries I have power for days. My Black Pack Pro from Yak Attack. Chuck full of stuff. Loaded up with the St. Croix. It's nice to have a flag and a light on the back. And this is where a lot of uh, the motoring happens. Let's be frank. Torquedo 1103. Killer motor. Can't beat it. It's efficient. It's plug and play. They've been leading the industry. They're the ones who came up with this whole design for the bracket, for the motor, for everything. You know, if you're looking for a motor that you just want to be plug and play, Torquedo is the answer. There's a lot of different ways to rig a motor steering up, and I chose the Tim Piercy uh, steering control. It replaces one of your rudder, one of your rudder controls, and what that does is that tie that one ties directly into your motor. So by using this one, I can use this to move my motor around. Now, the only downside with this is that 1103 is a little bit too powerful to use it under full throttle. I have to back off the throttle to steer a little bit. Some people might like the foot control steering because that eliminates that issue. You can use foot control steering easily under full throttle. 
and of course I got a cup holder. Who doesn't want a cup holder on their kayak? And I also used Yak Attack's H-Rail mount to have a super low profile torpedo throttle mount. And I love this, how low profile this is, is because I don't have to take it on and off. I just slide this onto my trailer and I cover it and I'm good to go. You know, less things have to take off the better. I also love having the bin on the side. I, I mean, obviously, look how many baits are in here. There's just a ton of baits in here. Load it up. This type of stuff helps keep you organized right here. Anglers, thanks for watching. Please hit that bell and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you out in the water.